everyone, Daisy here again with another video for Spiegel Mom Scrap Sunday Fun Day. Um, and this week we are scrap lifting um, Missy Whitten. And I am not going off a specific layout, but I'm taking a lot of techniques that Missy um, does on most of her layouts and incorporating it into one layout here. So I'm going to go down this path here and I left it in because it's part of the process and um, it's not necessarily bad, it's just not what I was going for. So I'm going to trace all of these cut files and these are all um, subscriber exclusive cut files from Coco Daisy. I did look and there are similar cut files on the Silhouette store so if you are interested in this type of um, cut file you can get it from the Silhouette store. And then the little seahorse cut files those are actually from the Spiegel Mom Scraps um, blog. There are some free cut files on there um, so if you like that you can go check it out. So I traced around all of those um, sand dollars and the flowers and the stars and Excuse me, I pulled out these um, new sequins. They are little shells, and so I picked three of them that I kind of wanted to use as my color inspiration, and they are a purple, a hot pink, and a like turquoise teal color. And so I'm going to channel my inner Missy and try to do some mixed media on my background here and what I'm doing is I'm filling in each one of the shapes because I want to do kind of how she does where um, there's just a little bit of mixed media poking out behind the cut files um, kind of like a shadow almost and then you can see it through the um, the negative space in the cut file and I'm going along and I already don't like it but I'm gonna keep trying I pull out the baby wipe and try to do the you know baby wipe te technique and no I like the way it blends um, the shimmers products that I'm using are just um, shimmers paints and they are in magenta royal purple and tickle me turquoise and um, Yeah, so I'm scrapping that one and I'm pulling out a new one and I'm going to go with the tried and true smushing technique with the package. And I was having a problem because, <laughs> so originally I was using a different type of packaging and it had a hole in it so it kept just getting all over my hands and then I was getting it all over everything. So I finally found some packaging that um, did not have that problem. So I'm just painting on the different colors, adding a little bit of water, and then smushing them down. Um, I did not put any gesso on this page at all. And this paper is actually um, some, is it color book, color box, um, card stock that I got in a $5 paper pack at Walmart. Um, the other cardstock I had used was the texture cardstock that you can get in the Spiegel Mom Scrap Shop, but I didn't want to waste <laughs> I didn't want to waste another page just in case I didn't like this one. So I went with the cheap stuff and then I end up liking this one of course. So But there is texture cardstock in the shop and it's fabulous and that's why I don't want to waste it. So um so I'm liking how that looks and I just dried it up a little bit and then I pulled out one of my new shimmers colors it is not a new shimmers color it's just new to me and it is pink stilettos and so I do some uh, splatters with that and then I think I also pull out the um, Jenny B blue vibes I think I do and do some splatters with that but of course I have to dry up the little drips and that's more so that I don't make a giant mess. <laughs> yep there's the Ginny B Blue vibes. And so I'm really liking how this background is going. I kind of wish I had um, made it go further to the edge on the left hand side. 
excuse me, but it is what it is. So again, just drying up the little spots here. And so the sequins I pulled out are some ones um, that I recently received, I believe. Um, I pull out the three mini sequin mixes. Those are on sale in the shop. I think they are $1.75 for the little bags of them. And they're gorgeous seashells. And they come in... I don't know if it's three or four different colors. I think three different colors. And then I also pulled out um, the Seashell What collection, but I don't think I end up using that. And then I also pull out the Summer Sweet Summer Vibes collection. They all have shells in them. Um, the Sweet Summer Vibes have gold one, and the Seashell What. Um, has silver ones in them and I, I do just end up using the colored seashells um, but you can see here that I'm just placing the die cuts around on the mixed media that I did in the background and I want it to be kind of a white on white um, a white on white layout but with pops of color and so that's what I'm doing here and then I'm going to pull out some of these seashells and kind of um, put them tone on tone with the background except for I get my pink and my purple mixed up <laughs> and then I'll fix it and so I'm just trying to work out where the sequins are going to go in between because I know I definitely want to add them and um, I'm going to pull out I believe I pull out a couple of other ones as well out of the um, is that the sparkle power mix that's sitting there I do pull out some of the sparkle power and then I believe I also pull out a few of the ones from the sweet summer vibes just the little sequins out of there And so now I have glued the sequins down and I have popped up all of my die cut or my silhouette cut shapes up on foam and I am pulling out two photos here. They are beach photos, you know, true to Missy style, um, very bright and has water in them. And I'm just cutting them down because I don't want them to cover up all of the, the um, cut files. But I am aware that they're going to have to cover up some of them, unfortunately. I really love this background and kind of just wanted to frame it and hang it up in my, hang it up in my craft room because I think it's beautiful. <laughs> but I am going to plug on and make it into a layout. So these two photos are from 2015 when we, um, we kind of took an impromptu vacation to Myrtle Beach. Um, we just we planned it like the week before and we couldn't afford plane tickets so we just hopped in the truck and we drove all the way out there and it is like an 18 hour drive and these pictures were taken on our last day there um, actually we were leaving that day so we had just gone down to the beach after checking out of our hotel and got all wet and sandy and then got in the truck and drove um, I am backing it on some tissue paper and the tissue paper I am using right now I got in a um, a gift pack I had gotten for Christmas from like Clinique um, stuff and I love this tissue paper it has little words printed on it I think it just says Clinique over and over again but it's like not as see-through as most tissue papers and it has like a little bit of design and yeah I love it so I pulled out this perfect day together. Um, these are from the Fancy Pants Joy Parade die cut pack. And I thought, again, they went perfect because Missy always, well not always, but Missy likes to use things from like her die cuts and sticker packs to make her titles. 
Um, I just stamped a little bit there with the date. I'm going to add some journaling down below um, and I'm just picking out some more of those um, Sparkle Power and Summer Vine sequins to fill in a little bit. And I absolutely love this. You should definitely um, subscribe so that you can see everybody else's um, take on Missy's work and head over to the blog and see there as well. Um, I look forward to seeing you again next time. Thanks for watching. Bye!